so Samio. In today's video, I'm doing a Halloween crafts collab with loads of other amazing UK mummy vloggers. So everyone will be doing their own version of Halloween decorations and crafts and baking and all kinds of fun Halloween stuff to do with your kids this autumn. So when you finish watching this video, then please do look in the description box below where you'll see all of their channels and video links to go over there and to get some other ideas. And if you do like their content, then please do consider subscribing to them too. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, then I would absolutely love you to by clicking the button below and joining this community. I upload a new video every single week on kids' cakes and crafts. So you'll need some old toilet rolls, some glow sticks, pens and scissors. First of all, you need to break the glow sticks to make sure they are in fact glowing. And then mark out some scary eye shapes onto the toilet rolls and just cut them out. You can mark any kind of eye shape that you fancy, the scarier the better. And once you've cut out all of the holes, you need to put the glowing glow sticks inside and cover over the two ends, if you like, with some masking tape. And then just go somewhere dark. If it's late at night, you're fine. If it's in the daytime and the kids want to see it glowing, then go into a utility room or a room with no windows where it's really dark and enjoy. For this one, all you need is a bin bag and some scissors. So cut open the black bin bag so that you've got one sheet of plastic and then you want to cut it into a square shape. Fold it in half, half again and again and then cut out one curved end, the bigger end. And then all you're doing is cutting out strips along one side and then open it out. Be quite careful when you're opening it out because it can get a bit sort of stuck at times. And then you're done. So just tape it up on the wall or in a doorway with some masking tape and the kids will love this one. Next up is a really easy one and all you'll need is some lollies, tissues, black pen, ribbon and scissors. You just need to double layer up some tissues, put the lolly inside, wrap the tissue over the top, tie around the ghost's neck with some ribbon, preferably black or orange but anything will do, and then draw on two eyes with a black marker pen, couldn't be easier. And then you can keep these for Halloween and give them out to trick-or-treaters. And next up, the easiest of all, we have the Satsuma pumpkins. All you'll need is Satsumas and some pens. You can use Sharpies, permanent markers or acrylic pens, which I find work best. I actually went over the Sharpie with the black acrylic pen because it just gave a really nice finish. You can do all different kinds of eyes and mouths. I've made these quite friendly pumpkins. Um, and obviously you can still eat the satsumas afterwards and these would be quite fun to put into kids lunch boxes at school. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below if you've enjoyed this kind of thing and give the video a big thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this for you next time. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!